From talking to students in office hours, it seems that several of you are having issues finding articles for the various diseases that you're looking at. So I thought I'll make this video in order to show you where I usually start out when looking for um, resources in the, at least the veterinary literature on diseases occurrence in animals. So to do that, let's go to a website called the Web of Science, which is a search engine that allows you to access different biological databases. So if you go to Web of Science, you will notice there is a drop-down menu here. So instead of the core collection, we are going to go scroll down and go to the zoological record. That's a record, a database of veterinary literature. And so in the search engine now, let's say I put in lymphoma, just as an example. Right? Here, you are able to see that there's a whole list of results, 257 of them, most of which have veterinary significance. And if we sort them by relevant results, you'll see that now we know that there's lymphoma in a baboon, in a lion, in monkeys, and mice, tamarinds, and even fish, the northern pike. So from here, one useful feature that exists within the web of science is that it allows you to see how many times a given article has been cited. And that's useful because it allows us to perform something called a forward literature search. For example, in number two, lymphomas and lions, we see that this article was published in 2010. And if you want to know you know, maybe there's been something going on since then. We click on time cited, and we notice that right away in 2017 that there was a B cell lymphoma article in a jaguar, right? which might have shown up in the previous search, but now we know for sure that this was something that referenced the Lion paper. So this is called a forward um, literature search, and it's very useful in trying to find more research articles than the one you've been looking at. So let's go back to the original set of results. So from here, if you go through all 257, or however many you find, it's a good starting point to find out the occurrence of disease in animals and using forward literature searches to find out even more um, papers that are relevant to you. You can also do what's called a backwards literature search, where, for example, again, in the Lion paper, if I click on it and go and look at the references that this paper has, I can look within those references and try to figure out um, even more articles that have contained information about the given disease. So forwards and backwards, as well as a search engine, is a good place to start. Secondly, in this video, what I wanted to talk about is how to use TimeTree. So I mentioned in class that TimeTree is a very, very useful website for generating phylogenetic trees instead of having to generate your own. And one of the useful features here is that it allows you to load a list of species which you have defined. So let's say you go to the Web of Sciences and the zoological record and you find a whole you know, list of animals that have a disease. And now you're like, how do I make the phylogeny, right? So this is where you put in the list of species. So let's say I have a hypothetical list of species like right here, right, in Word. And this is, I have found a disease, disease X, that has five instances that I've in the veterinary literature. What you do then is you go into Word, you put them, on the list, every line should be a different animal. And as you notice, it doesn't have to be the Latin name, although that might be preferred in some cases, but it doesn't have to be. You can just put a common name and save it. Note that it's in a text file, All right? So if we take that, oops, and then you upload the list of species. Let's find that article of mine. Notice that I have all these funky things going on. And click Upload. Now, it gives you, look at that, it has this, the tree that we need for species in the Latin names. So one thing I've just realized is that they have something, an issue, an unresolved name. They weren't able to find something called um, under bearded dragon. So this indicates if you have this issue pop up, this is when you might want to use the original Latin name because it's clear that they, the database doesn't contain the same name, bearded dragon. They might go by a different name in their database. And this is a good place to start. If you have any questions about this, I'm all years. Please come to office hours and talk to me about them. Cheers.